Hello, folks. Take a look at the nose of this Aldabra tortoise. See what's missing? His nares are missing. His nostrils are missing. What's really happening here is his nares are actually under a thin skin that has grown over the end of that nose. Sometimes what happens, these guys, they get their nose down into the mud and the dirt, and that starts getting dirty in the end, and that starts getting clogged up. And when that gets clogged up, the body will naturally start putting a little skin over that, over that nostril, over that nair. So um, basically, this is something you've got to take care of because they're, they'll be sneezing and they won't eat. They'll be lethargic and everything. They can't smell their food. So really what you have to do here is you've got to take, uh, and this is something that a vet should do, somebody that had, that's, that's a skilled um, a surgeon, be able to just simply remove that little bit of, of that skin that's covering up that nair because you're going to need to put a little bit of antibiotic cream on there so sometimes there's some different ways of dealing with uh how you're going to treat that nostril after the fact after you've removed that because like i say sometimes there is an injury there and everything so again that's something that develops i uh, uh in normal tortoises when they have normal nair size but it's something that i see more frequently some tortoises some baby altabra tortoises have very narrow nares so when they have that very narrow nares, sometimes you can, you can hear them breathing. There's a, it's, a, it's a little bit restricted, and those get plugged up real easy. So if you think that you may have a problem with your tortoise, the first thing you're going to want to do is check those nares. Make sure they're still there. Okay, folks, additionally, what you have to consider is there may be actually a plug in the end of their nose, right at the end of that nair, when they get blocked up. So you may need to flush that out. You may need to, to do some kind of uh, a procedure in there where you get the end of that nostril open and you keep the end of that nostril open. So again, it's a good idea to consult your vet uh, in helping you deal with this problem. I hope you like those videos. I appreciate the support, everybody. Take care.